What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I'll be creating a sketch illustration of a Boston Terrier. Let's begin today's lesson by adding a couple guidelines in the center of the page. We'll start at the very top right in the center, sketch a line coming down, and bring this all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Let's move to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then stretch that out along the right. Now we're going to use these lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. So from the center, let's step up, just mark off the top of our circle. Now you want to take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that process across this horizontal line. So taking this distance over toward the left and then the right side. Now you want to connect each of these marks with a curve to create our circle. So we'll start with the top left. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement on the page. You can always go back and just readjust and smooth out our circle. <coughs> now from the center of our circle, let's draw a straight angle line coming down towards the left, towards the edge of our circle. Go back to the center and go out and then down towards the right. And you want to bring that down towards the same height. Let's add the basic shape of the nose along the top. We start by drawing a straight line going across, and then from the ends, we want to curve this down and then bend that end towards the center. From the bottom of our nose, draw a straight line coming down to right about there. We're going to angle the muzzle coming down and out toward the left and right side. Let's round out the bottom of the muzzle. We're going to connect these two lines with a curve coming down and then in. I'm just going to flatten off the chin with a slight curve coming down the middle and then back up. Now I'm going to place the eyes above this center line. So over on the left side, let's draw a circle. Go all the way around and then down. Let's line that up over on the right side. Let's go up to the top and draw the inside edge of the ears. We're going to leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the right. Draw a short line going up. Let's take this distance over towards the right. Now from here, we're just going to angle the ear, going up and then out towards the tip of the ears. Let's go back over towards the left side. We're going to curve the ear, going out, down, and then in towards the side of the head. Let's block in that thick stripe in the center of the head. We start over on the left side, draw a straight line going up. Do the same thing on the right. Now from here, we're just going to round this out, going up and then down. Now we're just going to block in the side of the neck and the body. Starting underneath the muzzle, draw two straight lines coming down. Step up, curve the body, going out and then down. Now that we have the basic shape of the head, let's go back and lightly erase those guidelines. Now that we have our clean rough sketch, let's go back and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding some more shape to the muzzle. We'll start from the top of the nose. I'm just going to curve this up and then down toward the side. Go across. I just want to bend this out and then down towards the bottom of the muzzle. Let's add some more shape along the bottom, bending this up toward the center. Now let's add some shape to the eyelid. From the inside of the left eye, step down, bend this in and then up. I'm just going to line that up over on the right side. Let's go back over towards the left, curve the eyelid, going across the top of the circle and then down on the outside. I'm just going to round out the bottom of the eye and then bend that in. Let's add in the cheekbones. Bend this up and then out around the eyes. Bend it around the eye and then come in. Now I'm going to add some more shape to the cheeks. Coming down and then bend that in. And work our way up on top of the head. 
I just want to dip that down in the center. Now I want to add some more detail to the nose. Let's start by rounding out the top on either side. Come down the side of the nostril. Come in, up, and then out. I'm just going to bring that down towards the center of the nose and then just split this in half. Let's add the edge of the iris along the outside. Add a small circle in the center for the pupil. I'm just going to add a small highlight along the top left side with a rectangle. Now I'm just going to add some more shape to the ears. Just taking out those sharp points. Let's round out the tip of the ear. Let's pull this in towards the side. I'm just going to add a fold. Step up, go out, and then in. And add another bump along the bottom. At the inside edge of the ear, starting from the left, and just pulling that up towards the top. Now once we're happy with the rough sketch, we're going to go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details and refining the shape. Now I'd like to start with the eyes. So we start with the outside, just working our way across the top of the eyelid. Just adding a little bit of thickness and shadow as we go. Just going to thicken that up. Let's work our way across the bottom. Now I'm just going to add that highlight. And I'm going to darken up the pupil going in behind the highlight. And we'll shade the iris again going around that highlight. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now from here, I'm just going to add a fur edge across this trim. So just pulling this up and then out, and then just working our way up towards the top. I'm just going to raise that fold in the center, and bend that down. Add some fur along the side. Now adding some more shape to the nose. Let's add a little bit of shading just up above the nose using the side edge of our pencil. It's going to add that shading coming down underneath. And from the bottom, I'm just going to fade this out towards the side. I'm just adding a little bit of fur along the outside edge of the muzzle. I'm just going to bring this in towards the mouth. And it's going a little bit darker along the bottom edge to create that impression of a shadow. Now you can see that I'm pulling the fur going up and in towards the center of the muzzle. Now we're going to add these little lines to shading those in going out. Add in the lower lip 
And now we're just going to shade this in. We're just fading that down towards the bottom. Enhance that fold on the side and then just blend that out. I want to use a tip of my pencil to add a little bit of fur texture across the cheeks. I'm going to go a little bit darker along this edge just to create a little bit of reflection. Now from here, we're just working our way up towards the top of the head. Again, just adding some fur along the side and just curling it around the eye. So you always want to be working with the flow of the character's head shape. So I'm using this to add some more shadows. I'm just going to add a little bit of subtle detail to the neck area. Now with the ears, we're going to stay with the side edge of our pencil and add some fur texture. I'll start with the inside edge of the ears first.
Now once we finished our shading, we're going to go in with the tip of our pencil and add some more fur texture. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a Boston Terrier. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you enjoyed this lesson, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.